when we as a family would sit at that dining room table. The basic question of the day was, how was your day today? And everybody would have a crack at telling something about their day. Now, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that that's a story. And then from that point, then the kitchen would be cleaned, and then we would all drift out to the living room, and then everyone would read. My mother would read mostly magazines and novels. At that time, she read a lot of Red Book magazine, and I didn't realize, but I do know now, that great writers published terrific short stories over the years in Red Book, and she was sitting there humming away, reading really fabulous literature. She's the one that brought Cheever into the house. I remember reading Cheever and Updike, Updike as a kid and thinking, wow, this is really out there. And then my dad read novels. He was in the war. He read war novels. My sister read literature and series books. I read everything that she read. My brother was reading picture books. So we were all readers. So whether that was, again, whether that was digital or whether it was books, what would happen is that you would look out. You would actually look up above your book and everybody had their nose in a book. It seemed to be the most important thing going on. Telling a story and reading a story. If I close my eyes, I can see both of those things clear as day in my family. And I always think that's where I came from.